Congratulations! The leader of a band of shadows has decided that you're the perfect candidate for our next Dragon Tamer. We have run countless tests and a very complicated process to decide which of our followers gets this very important job. And you fit perfectly and definitely did not get this job because the last Tamer died horribly. So don't you think too much about it. Or even better, don't think at all, because as a dragon tamer, it's important to keep a cool head. Literally. So here's our 7-step program for successfully raising a dragon so we can use it for a better world. First, get in the professionally made work uniform we provide. It will keep you as safe as you need to be. Second, the first phase of a dragon's life is incredibly easy. It's an egg, and so you just wait for it to hatch. Just make sure to check the color of the egg and remember our motto. Chromatic is the best, kick out the rest. Third, as soon as the wormling hatches, you can start feeding it and begin giving gifts. The wormling will signal you if he or she appreciates the gifts or not. Note that we currently don't have a budget to provide offerings, so you will be responsible for this yourself. Fourth, you will have to start creating a layer which suits the dragon best. In the beginning, a pillow fort will be fine for most dragons, but not red ones. Think creatively about what your wormling might enjoy. It's winter and you have a white dragon? Why not bond over building an igloo? You always liked building sandcastles and are raising a blue dragon? A perfect opportunity for a beach episode. Fourth, stay in the good favor of the dragon. At this stage, it's less about what you want and more what the dragon needs from you to grow into a majestic being. Be responsible and obedient at this critical stage. We are sure you will learn pretty fast to follow the dragon's command to the best of your abilities. Sixth, just repeat step five until the wormling reaches adulthood. Seventh, profit. You wonder how I, we will use this majestic being? Dragons are quite versatile creatures. They can protect our property, create an awesome layer, threaten enemies, get rid of people I don't like, and it would also look really powerful on a throne next to me. Anyway, older dragons can also give guidance and do amazing regional effects, like fog or thunderstorms. Just imagine how cool all of us would look in black cloaks coming out of the mist. They are also more reliable and most of the time need less children to thrive than for example Cthulhu. So do your duty and bring our cult to the next level with an extremely powerful being which will certainly not get us all killed or enslaved. Also remember, there is a clause in your contract from forbidding you to create an alliance with the beast and overthrowing me. Your leader from the Band of Shadows.